All right, artists, let's get started in drawing our tree in the style of Gustav's Klimt painting the Tree of Life. Our very first step is to draw the two sides of our tree. To do this, we're gonna start at the bottom of our paper and draw a straight line all the way up to about there and then start to pull it out and make a curly end. And we're gonna repeat this over here for the other side of our tree trunk. Make a straight line going on up and then start to curl it on out. After that, we're gonna connect these two curly branches. All right. We're just gonna go like that around it, come in, make a little point, and then come over here and connect it to our branch on this side. After that, we're gonna draw the ground of our picture, just a horizontal line near the bottom of your tree. And the next thing we're gonna start to do is add branches to our tree. So let's start by adding some lower branches. And you'll do the same thing, just kind of make some swirly lines going on the outside of your tree. And you'll do this on both sides. All right, and we're gonna add some middle branches right in the middle of our tree. Once again, just coming from that base of our tree and making some curly lines for our tree branches. We're gonna repeat it on the other side of our tree. You can draw these however you want to, just make sure you're drawing some curly Q lines for your tree branches. And now we're going to add more branches to these branches that we just drew. All right. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to come to this one right here and then just start to draw some more swirly little lines coming off of it. And I'm going to do that to each of these four branches. Once I started adding those extra branches to our four base ones, I'm just going to keep on adding some more branches to my entire tree. Once you have all those extra tree branches added that you want there, we're going to start adding some patterns and details to our tree that are inspired by the same patterns and details that Gustav Klimt used in his artwork. To do this, you can just make up patterns on your own, or you can use the worksheet provided to help you with that. And what you're going to do is just take these patterns and start drawing them in on your tree. You put whatever patterns wherever you want.
make sure you're also adding patterns onto your tree branches as well. Now once you've added all the details you want to add to your tree, you can start adding details to your background or maybe drawing some flowers on the ground. It's up to you how you decorate the rest of your picture. All right, I'm gonna add some flowers to my background, maybe add some lines back here. After that, our next step is to trace and outline all of our shapes and everything with our black crayon or marker that we have to use. Once you've outlined all of your shapes with the black marker, you're going to color in your entire picture, including your background. I'm going to be using maybe some crayons and colored pencils to do this, but you can use whatever material you have. You can use markers, crayons, colored pencils, even oil pastels if you have them. Just make sure you color in your entire picture. artists once you've added color to your entire picture the last thing to do is write your name in the bottom right hand corner of your artwork and then you're all done make sure you submit it to google classroom great job <laughs>